pastor is saying to us, our confidence in his name. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Philippians chapter 2, verses 10 to 11. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. There are those who wonder why we use the name of Jesus in prayer. That's because they don't understand the scriptures and the power in the name of Jesus. His name is the name of the Godhead. It's the greatest name there is. Everything in heaven, in the earth, and under the earth is subject to his name. Nothing and no one is exempt from the dominion and authority of this name. Furthermore, we use his name because he asks us to. In John chapter 14, verses 13 to 14, he said, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. In John chapter 16, verses 23 to 24, we also read the words of Jesus where he says, And in that day, you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Here, he says we can pray in his name. He gives us the power, the legal authority to use his name. We read in our theme scripture that God made a sovereign decree a law in the realm of the spirit that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. The Greek word translated as things also means whatever. This refers to anything that exists, people, beasts, birds, the elements, whatever. They all submit to the name of Jesus. This includes everything under the earth which refers to hell. No wonder, he tells us we can raise the dead. Even if someone went to hell, we can call him back because the name of Jesus Christ has power in heaven, in earth and under the earth. See why you should always use the name of Jesus and have confidence in his name? Live every day in his name and your life will be excellent and full of glory. You'll always be triumphant. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for the power in the name of Jesus and the boldness, confidence, and authority I have to use that name against the devil, sickness, disease, and the crisis of life. I'm sustained by the power and authority of that name, living the higher life of glory that you prearranged for me. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, we read John chapter 16, verses 23 to 24 of the Living Bible, Mark chapter 16, verses 17 to 18, and Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 19. For the one-year Bible reading plan, Please read Mark chapter 3, verses 13 to 35, and Leviticus chapters 13 to 14. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 to 28, and Genesis chapter 49. Rhapsody of reality.